Now that being said, next month US President Joe Biden will embark on a West Asia visit. It will be his first visit to the region as president. Among all the destination countries, Saudi Arabia will be in the spotlight. While in Riyadh, Biden will meet the kingdom's crown prince. Until last year, Biden rallied to make the kingdom a pariah. Is it that Biden is shifting his policy on Saudi Arabia? Here's the report. U.S. President Joe Biden will visit Saudi Arabia next month, where he will meet with the kingdom's crown prince Mohammed bin Salman. The announcement Tuesday from the White House dismayed human rights advocates and appeared to break Biden's campaign pledge to make Saudi Arabia a, quote, pariah. Bin Salman, commonly known as MBS, was once hailed as a reformer in the deeply conservative kingdom. But attitudes turned when he ordered widespread arrests of perceived rivals. And then in 2018, Jamal Khashoggi, an American-based Saudi journalist and critic of the Crown Prince, who wrote for the Washington Post, entered the Saudi consulate in Turkey and never came out. U.S. intelligence implicated MBS in the murder. The Saudi government denies the prince was involved. In 2019, Biden vowed to make Saudi Arabia, quote, pay the price and make them, in fact, the pariah that they are over the killing of Khashoggi. The White House has said as recently as this month that Biden's view has not changed. But global events did. Inflation, Russia's war in Ukraine, and Iranian nuclear talks now mean Washington hopes Riyadh, a top oil producer, will keep a steady flow of crude to Europe and help firm up an alliance of Gulf Arab states and Israel opposed to Tehran. What has changed, really? I mean, the, 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 the president, when he was running for office, he called uh, Saudi Arabia, Pariah, and so on. At a news conference Tuesday, reporters pressed State Department spokesperson Ned Price on the president's commitment to human rights. I can tell you it hasn't changed. Uh, and President Biden actually said this just the other week. Uh, he said, I'm not going to change my view on human rights. Uh, so in every relationship, of course, we bring our uh, values with us. And human rights is always on the agenda. Human rights is always on uh, the table. So too are the interests of the American people. And these two things uh, can be, and I would say must be, uh, complementary. Biden's visit to the Middle East will include a stop in Israel and the Palestinian territories. Israel's defense minister on Tuesday said Washington should help lead regional military cooperation to counter Iranian influence. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.